Space, Dwayne from Blue Jay Bushcraft. Uh, I'd like to talk to you about knife safety in this video. Um, first things, before you do anything, is have a cuts kit handy. You never know when you're going to cut yourself, so make sure you've got a cuts kit. Right, knife safety. First thing, when drawing it from the sheath, don't hold the sheath like that. If you pull that knife out and it cuts through the leather, it's straight into your fingers. So don't hold the sheath like that. Hold it like that. Same if it's on your belt. If you need to hold the sheath while you're pulling, while you're drawing your knife, hold it like that. Don't put your hand round it. So we take the knife out. Put firm grip on it. Now to carve. You want to be sat comfortably, but you want your elbows, if you're sitting down, you want your elbows on your knees. So you can carve away to your heart's content. If that knife slips, it's going away into mid-air, it's not going anywhere near you. If you're sat back, carving away like this, and that knife slips, You've got major arteries in all that leg there. You cut one of them, you're in big trouble. So keep your knife away from yourself at all times. Always cut away from yourself. If you sat down, get into the habit, elbows on knees, that way you can't cut anywhere near yourself. One of the main, or one of the best tips that I've been told if it feels wrong, it probably is, so don't do it. If you feel like you're doing something that's not safe, don't do it. Right, so we've got different techniques for, cut, for different cuts that we can use. There's obviously your, your standard cut like that. Uh, there's the chest lever grip, which you turn your knife around so the blade's facing towards you put your knife against your chest sticking straight out don't do it like that straight out and it's arms up onto your wood and pull that way you're using your shoulders your shoulder muscles not your arm muscles so you can get a lot more strength into the cut and you can put slice a lot more wood off Another one is if you hold your knife again facing towards you, if you want to do more delicate work, you can hold your knife like so, with your thumb around there up against the side of the blade. You're not near the sharp bit, so you can cut like that. If that comes towards you, if you look at the angle of that knife, if that comes towards me and hits me, the only thing that's going to hit me is the handle, not the blade. Always think, where's that blade going to go if it slips? So we've got that technique, we've got the chest lever grip, I'm just trying to cut through a knot there so it's not working, but which gives you a lot more power in your cut. If you want to do finer, finer work, more controlled, you put your thumb on the back of the blade and push with your thumb and you've got a lot more control over the knife as to how far you cut. You can cut, stop, cut, stop, wherever you want. You've got a lot more control doing it that way, just pushing the blade with your thumb. Like I say, whichever way you do it, make sure you're not cutting towards yourself. You know, you, you want to cut, you want to take slices off a piece of wood. You do it like that? No. If that slips, your fingers are gone. Hand always behind the cutting edge. Always. You get a serious cut while you're out in the woods, you're in trouble. You don't want that. 
So always, whichever way you're doing it, watch that blade, watch where it's going. Always keep in mind, if that blade slips, where's it going to go? Thing, another thing to remember is when you finish doing what you're doing, or if you want to just put your knife down for a second and do something else, no. Don't put your knife down. Don't stick it in a piece of wood. Put it back in its sheath where it's not going to cause any problems. You put, it, you put that down on the floor, you just reach over for something. Oh, I'll grab that stick over there. Where's your hand going to go? Straight on that blade. Always put it back in the sheath. So it's not going to be not going to cause any problems. So I hope you found that useful, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.